YouTube, it's your boy DJ Whiplash, and today um, I'm going to be helping you guys through a common problem that they have with the new uh, MacBook Pros, the 8.2s, the ones with the Thunderbolt port, and the TTM57. I've been getting this question a lot lately, basically people saying, I'm hooking up my 57 to my, Mac, to my new MacBook, and it's not picking up Serato, it just stays in the regular one player mode. Um, it's a very common problem, and it's very easy to solve it. Uh, I'm going to show you guys today how to solve it. So you guys can see we have the new MacBook. This is the uh, Core i7, uh, the 15 inch. Um, got this about two months ago. So, uh, and here we have the 57. Um, they're both hooked up, right? And we're going to open Serato and you're going to see what happens. So we have the 57 hooked up to Serato through the USB port, check the back just to make sure, and it's not picking it up, you're not getting your dual decks playing or anything like that. Um, the reason being is because these Macs run on 64-bit. Uh, Alright, so basically what you have to do is you have to dumb down the computer a little bit. You have to put your computer into 32-bit mode. By default, the MacBook uh, boots up into 64-bit mode. The way you do that is you hold down the 3 and the 2 button before the computer turns on. Once you get to your desktop, you release it, and that's how you know you're in a 32-bit mode. I'm gonna uh, demonstrate that for you now, and you're gonna see how it works. Okay, so now what you have to do, basically, is our MacBook is off. You have to make sure your 57 is unplugged. It cannot be plugged into the computer. You hit the power button, you hold down the three and the two, until you basically, you hit the, uh, the desktop. Once you hit the desktop, then you can let it go. You're gonna see the little uh, wheel basically start to turn. Okay, so once you see this blue screen and you go into your desktop, you have you have basically booted into your 32-bit mode successfully. Um, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna open Serato. Once you open Serato and launches. You can plug it in, and we should see both decks load up. This is the same MacBook. Um, again, all we did is jump in 32-bit mode, and we're good to go. All right, so once you're done DJ, I know a lot of us usually get lazy, and we just start unplugging everything. We pull out that RCA, the XLR, and the pop cord. Um, one thing you want to do when you have it with this MacBook is you want to actually shut down Serato. Exit out of Serato correctly by you know hitting the top, exiting yes. Um, the reason being, and then I'm going to USB. Um, we're going to open it and I'm going to show you something. The reason being, like I said, a lot of us use start unplugging things and what will happen when you unplug your USB without closing your Serato, you'll get an error. Um, people get this error and they start freaking out. Um, let me show you what actually happens. We get that error. It's not good. It, uh, don't freak out. Don't think that, oh, my computer's broken or my Serato's broken, nothing like that. It's just a kernel error because you had to boot into 32-bit mode. Uh, what happens is your computer's basically frozen solid. None of the keys work. The mouse doesn't work. It pretty much stuck. You didn't lose any of your information, nothing like that. Um, so just, all you have to do is hold down the power button and you power out of it. And now once you restart your computer, it'll start offline. Oh, Let's start again into 32-bit mode. Okay, so again, we, back, we booted back into 32-bit mode. You get that little error message right there. There was a problem. Um, but again, you'll be all right. Again, you open up your Serato. Once it's booted, you plug it in. And you'll be good to go. All right, so that is basically explaining the problem with the 32-bit mode with the new MacBook Pros with the um, Thunderbolt port. Um, again, don't be scared. Don't freak out. Just follow these instructions and it'll work out for you. Uh, don't forget, check me out on Facebook. Um, DJ dot whiplash um, on Twitter um, at DJ whiplash that's DJ W I P L A S H and uh, if you have any questions or comments just leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. All right, peace.